Welcome to Electron Line. Now we have an example that looks kind of like the previous example, but with things a little bit in reverse. In this case, we're given the current through capacitor and we're trying to find the instantaneous voltage across the capacitor. Notice the capacitance is 4 microfarad. Here we have a situation where we have a steady state battery or power supply. We close the switch at equals zero and then the current begins to flow. What we're trying to find is the voltage across the capacitor and let's say that we also want to find the voltage across the capacitor when T is equal to let's say 0.1 seconds. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. First of all we need to find a relationship between the current and the voltage and we know that the current, the I, as a function of time is equal to the capacitance times the rate of change in the voltage with respect to time which means if we want to solve for the voltage we can say the following we can say that C times dV is equal to I times dT or dV is equal to 1 over the capacitance times the current times dT or the voltage is equal to the integral of the dV which is equal to 1 over C times the integral of I times dT so we go from t equals 0 to t equals time and of course the voltage assuming we start at voltage equals zero to voltage equals v which means that all we have to do is plug in the time here and integrate so let's go ahead and do that so that means the voltage is equal to one over the capacitance times the integral from zero to t of i dt and i is equal to this it's equal to five milliamps times e to the minus 2000 t times dt. Simplifying that a little bit, let's go ahead and move this outside integral sign. Let's plug in the proper value for c. So we get v is equal to 5 times 10 to the minus 3. I'm going to leave out the units right now to keep things a little cleaner. The capacitance will be 4 times 10 to the minus 6. And we have e to the minus 2000 t dt that will be on the integral sign from zero to time. All right, simplifying this a little bit, 5 divided by 4 is 1.25 and 10 to the minus 3 divided by 10 to the minus 6 is 1000. So this can now be moved over here. 1.25 times 1000 is 1250. So that's equal to 1250 times the integral from zero to t of e to the minus 2000 t dt. Notice I left some space here because I need to find the proper differential. The differential of the exponent is minus 2000 and since we don't have a minus 2000 I'm going to add a minus 2000 here and I'll have to then of course divide by minus 2000 here to keep everything the same. So I multiply times a minus 2000 and I divide by minus 2000 so now I have the proper differential to, to do that integral. Next I can go ahead and integrate. So this is equal to minus 125 over 200 by dividing both by 0 times the integral of this which would be e to the minus 2000 t evaluated from 0 to t. This is equal to, they're both divisible by 5, so 125 divided by 5 would be, hmm, that would be 25, so minus 25 over 40 times, when I plug in the upper limit, I get e to the minus 2000 t minus, when I plug in the lower limit, I get e to the 0. Now what I can do is with this minus sign I can simply turn these two around. So this is equal to 25 divided by 40 that would be equal to 5 over 8 times e to the 0 minus e to the minus 2000 t. Now notice as t gets to be a big number this pretty well goes to 0, right? When t goes to 1 e to the minus 2000 that's basically insignificant. So this very quickly goes from e to the 0 power which is 1 to a number that is very, very small. In other words, I can probably ignore that for any values of t that are larger than any small number. Of course, the equation first, what we did here was we found the 
um, voltage as a function of time, which could be expressed like this, or simplifying a little bit more, the voltage as a function of time is equal to 0 0.625. And what about the units? Well, let's see here. We took care of the units here. I think we're fine with saying that this is equal to, oh, we divided by 2,000. This was amps divided by 2,000. That would therefore be milliamps. That would be millivolts, millivolts. Multiplied times 1 minus e to the minus 2,000 t. And finally, what I can do now is evaluate that for a particular value of t. So v when t is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. I probably should have picked a smaller number, but that's okay. That is equal to 0 0.625 millivolts times the quantity 1 minus e to the minus. 0.1 times this would be minus 200. Well, e to the minus 200, that's basically zero. So this can go to zero. In other words, V, when one-tenth of a second has elapsed, that will be equal to 0 0.625 millivolts. And that would then be the answer after 0.1 seconds. I probably should have picked a much smaller number to give it a little bit more significance. But that's how we do that. If you're given a function that expresses the current, that's a function of t, and you want to know the voltage across the capacitor, you simply have to convert to this equation, dv equals this, take the integral, and then plug in the appropriate values for t. I just noticed that this probably should not have been millivolts, but volts. The reason was when I divided by 2000, I already took that into account because this was going to be in milli, this was going to be in milliamps divided by 2000, so instead of point 625 millivolts, it's actually 0.625 volts, and that would then be the correct answer for that.